We start with new insights on the Michael Hirokawa verdict. The 34-year-old could have faced life in prison, but tonight he's a free man. Acquitted of all charges tied to a violent sexual encounter in his downtown apartment. Our Jelani Martinez joins us with new reaction tonight. Jelani? After a four-week-long trial, jurors began deliberating Thursday afternoon, and today they returned with a verdict on charges of attempted murder, kidnapping, and three counts of sex assault. The jury in this case find the defendant not guilty. Dated May 30th, 2023. Thank you. <laughs> Acquitted of all charges, Hirakawa held his crying mother as they left the courthouse with other family members. He declined comment. The case hinged on Hirakawa's claim that the woman he met at a hostess bar in 2020 drugged him, causing him to become violent, leaving her with serious injuries. Prosecutors argued that Hirakawa pretended not to remember much of what happened, but his attorney says the jury made the right call. It's been tough, but um, he's, he was very resilient. Um, I'm sure he's happy that uh, the jury saw things the way they did, um, and he's hoping to get back to his regular life. During the trial, Hirakawa's attorney said HPD did shoddy work because they failed to test his client's blood and urine, which would have turned up signs of LSD and Ambien. A former deputy chief says investigators can be unconsciously biased. I mean, police do sometimes overlook or advocate for the victim too much sometimes, and it comes back to, you know, burn you in the end like this. And, and for whatever reason, whether, like I said, it could be sloppiness, could be just inexperience. Defense attorney Michael Green also says police may have assumed it was a simple case since the woman fled his apartment and Hirakawa was found asleep covered in blood. And if HPD decided they found some guy laying there full of blood and they have a complaining witness that's that, that's beaten to the way she was, it's a closed door, open and shut in their mind. You can't let a jury verdict like this define their healing. Angelina Madrano of the Hawaii State Coalition Against Domestic Violence urges other victims not to let this verdict scare them from coming forward. We, too, are disappointed in this outcome for survivors. We know that they can be discouraged, but we really hope that, um, that they continue to seek services and seek help. In a statement, State Attorney General Ann Lopez said, while we are extremely disappointed in the verdict, we respect the process and thank the jury for its service.